recognize for five minutes. Thank you for being here today. Uh, I'm concerned about GSE taking market share from the Federal Housing Administration. Uh, it would leave, obviously, FHA with only the riskiest mortgages. Um, and as we know, riskier mortgages need kind of commensurate controls to ensure um, only eligible individuals receive FHA. Um, do you think there's a balance there or enough is being done to protect taxpayers kind of from these riskier mortgages at this point? FHA certainly has the distinction. Um, its loans carry the full faith and credit of the government, so it's important that HUD do its best to manage risk against the mortgage insurance fund. It's the largest insurance fund, mortgage insurance fund in the, in the world. Um, we have looked at this uh, issue with our audit work, and we've made some priority recommendations around this. We do see a remarkable amount of ineligible mortgages uh, become approved for FHA insurance, and we've made some recommendations around flood insurance. We see individuals with delinquent tax debt. We think, I think the number was $13 billion in loans that HUD insured with individuals that had delinquent tax debt. And individuals with, um, that with, the, with a child support off way, uh, offset for child support as well. So this is definitely an issue, and it's something that we're hoping that HUD will, will shore up. Yes. So the, the situation of, for the most part, adults 25 to 35 year old, and uh, they simply can't enter the, the housing market at this point, either because they can't get the down payment or they're just being denied based on uh, the level of income that they have. So um, I know that HUD offers some low down payment programs. Would, if you look across the board of what HUD has available, are there certain things that you see as shortcomings right now or things that need to be changed to assist kind of this decade of adults that are completely unable to purchase a home at this point. I have those same adults in my family, so I know they are all talking to me about their struggles right now. Um, frankly, that would be something I believe the secretary would be better suited to address in terms of what they're offering and how they're trying to reach individuals who are trying to accomplish home ownership at this time. I can't think of anything in the moment that I see as a real shortcoming. We're really looking at the risk to the fund. I haven't, I'm not aware of any programs that are causing risk right now. Um, outside of these eligibility issues to FHA. Yeah, I mean, I we talk about it kind of ad nauseum right now in financial services, because everybody that comes before the committee, uh, you know, I try and raise a question, I know other members do as well, that, you know, obviously with home ownership being the cornerstone of building wealth in, in this country, if we continue to have kind of these, these 25 to 35, five-year-olds that are being denied access to the market overall. Um, there, there's got to be some things, some flexibilities built in. So I, I guess what I would say is, what is HUD's role kind of in encouraging more entry-level housing? And, and like I said, is, is, there, is this something you could work with financial institutions on as well? Or how, how do you perceive this issue right now? I, I, under, I understand the concern. Um, our oversight hasn't touched that necessarily. Uh, we've been looking at, you know, the riskiest parts of HUD's portfolio and making recommendations there. Um, I'm not sure I'm, I'm doing my best to answer your question here, but I, I, I think the secretary would have some, some thoughts on how they can extend options for home ownership. Yeah, I mean, I, in the minute I have left, sure. there's um, kind of direct messaging that's being done to these individuals, for the, it could be any of the social websites, it could be Instagram or whatever it might be, where they specifically talk about the difference between a 35-year-old in 1995 compared to a 35-year-old right now. The home they're trying to purchase is almost four times mm -hmm. the price, and their ability to pay is not even close to being equal. I don't think anybody on the committee is trying to waive, I certainly am not, trying to waive any of the basic uh, the basic points that you would look at when you're trying to make a mortgage. But what we're trying to say is I think that, you know, if there is a way to try and accommodate or to make changes to programs, they would allow them the ability to get into the market 
Um, you know, there's a lot of different programs, obviously, on the private sector, but, but certainly FHA should be aware of this and should be working on it. 